योग कर्मसु कौशल by now uh, we have seen the strategy strategic management strategic planning and then overall what is the strategic formulation and strategy implementation now let us try to look into 5s model of strategy management now when we are saying 5s model of strategic management here it is again divided into two parts one is a formulation and the other is a execution so when they are saying 5s what is meaning of this 5s the first s is situation analysis as we already discussed when we are saying situation analysis we mean to say we need to analyze the external environment we need to look into the industry we need to look into the internal analysis second s is a strategic policy directions now what is strategic policy directions here we have to define the goals and the strategies of the organization we have to bring it to the notice of each and every one working in the organization we have to bring to their notice that this is the plan down the line that is 5 years down the line the organization want to achieve to this extent if you don't show that then it may happen that the people could not work accordingly so the first s is situation analysis second is a strategic policy directions third is a strategic action planning now here when we are saying action planning as the name suggests it is talking about what how what for who and when so somewhere or the other way what you are trying to do is you are trying to finalize the objectives you are trying to finalize the outputs you are trying to finalize the responsibilities and the authorities of the people working in the organization so exactly you are trying to do the action planning that is the planning for taking the action and carrying out the activities right so it would be answering all the wh questions why why i have to do what i have to do for which things i have to do how i have to do when i have to do all the wh questions would be finalized by you when you are under the category of the strategic action planning next is strategy execution so somewhere when we are saying strategic execution simply it is execution of whatever you have planned okay after preparing or after formulation of the strategy you are going in the execution and once you have executed the strategy it is not an end somewhere or the other way you need to evaluate you need to do the evaluation of the strategy you need to look into how whatever steps you have taken and whatever guidelines you have given to the people whether the things are going accordingly or not whether there is any deviation whether any problems are coming if any problem is coming what and why it is happening and so somewhere you are trying to finalize and looking into the output you are trying to look into whatever responsibilities that you have assigned whether in reality actually the people are performing that way or not and so it would be strategic evaluation so in the strategic management there is a framework called a 5s framework which is divided into situation analysis strategic policy directions strategic action planning strategic execution and strategic evaluation so these are the five very very important things that is needed to be looked into while you are considering this process now when we are saying that we need to look into detail about each factor how are you going for situation analysis say for example let's take an example of the education sector by now what we have tried to do is we have tried to understand the framework of the strategy in totality 
that is we have tried to understand the strategy formulation and strategy implementation now let us think from the perspective of the education institution so say for example you are working in an education sector and you have to do the situation analysis what would you analyze externally and what would you analyze internally so the first is external environment that is externally you would analyze what macro economic and a socio demographic factors now when i am saying macro economic factors here it means the macro environmental factor what is happening in the industry what is happening in the education industry in india say for example okay and what is happening in the other industries connected to the education industries why because say for example when we are saying about the consumers the stakeholders right each stakeholders either it is a student or it is a parents or it is a government or it is other people who are directly or indirectly involved in this sector we need to analyze we need to see that what is happening say for example if i am in an education sector if i am doing an external environment analysis it doesn't mean that i have to just look into the education sector no i have to look into what is happening in the other industries side by side and how that industry is happening would impact to my sector okay would impact to my sector say for example covid 19 has occurred now it has no direct connection with the education sector right but because of some event called covid 19 has occurred it has a great impact on education sector it has great impact on the pharma sector it has great impact on say fmcg sector so parallelly there are so many impacts that are happening what i need to do is i need to analyze the external environment that is i need to look into what is happening in the society what is happening with reference to the demographic position right demographic position here refers to the age gender education and the other factor occupations same way social here refers to the social class in which people are belonging okay same way macroeconomic factors here refers to the macroeconomic factors like inflation and the interest rate how what is happening around us and importantly when we are looking into what is happening we need to look into that how it is going to impact to my industry so that is external environment and secondly internal environment friends we are saying external as the name suggests external is something which is not in my control external is something which is outside my control outside my boundary outside my university boundary okay but it has a great impact on me same way there is internal environment now when i am saying internal environment by sector here i need to look into in which sector i am now here i have given different example i may be in primary i may be in secondary i may be in the technical education i may be in the vocational education i may be in the higher education or i may be in the non formal or uh, education or maybe nowadays if you look into i may be in the online education so when i am saying that i have to look into the internal environment what do i mean by that i need to look into the excess in education right whether say for example my strategy my education strategy in this covid 19 may be to provide online education what my question would be how many people would be able to access it whether my students would be able to participate in that or not if i am referring or if i am established in a rural area okay and i uh, decide to provide an online education before deciding that i need to look into the access in the education i need to look into whether my students whether my stakeholders would be able to participate in the way i am trying to provide the education then the quality of education 
Okay, that is also one of the important aspect to what level I am providing the quality and to what level I need to improve upon that. I also need to look into the external efficiency and cost and financing. Very, very important. What is the level of costing for X or Y category of options that I am referring into? Because many a times looking into the competitive scenario, I as an institution or I as a department may also need to obey and may need to go ahead with the you know uh, with following the things which other people are doing and for that many times you know i might have a problem of say cost and financing so before implementing i need to look into whether there are any issues with reference to the cost and financing and also i need to look into the managerial and institutional capabilities even if i have a financing uh, inefficiency many times you know because my management is such because of the reason of the management because of the mission of the management because of the attitude of the management many times even if the internal environment or external environment is not supporting but because of the management's attitude is like that then you know my mission may be successful so before preparing the strategic plan i need to look into the situation analysis i need to analyze the situation in the economy i need to analyze the situation starting with a global economy to the nation and then to the industry in which i am working and then to the universities of my state and then to my university and then in my university among different departments i need to analyze and then after analyzing these all external factors i need to do the internal assessment of my own department my own resources my own efficiency my own management capabilities and after doing this analysis i should prepare a strategy plan so this is one of the very very important aspect the next is preparing the dimension of the policy now when we are saying dimension here it is focusing upon three things goals objectives and the targets now when we are saying dimensions here three things are important in the education sector one is access second is a quality and the third is a management when we are saying access here means access in the form of whether it is accessible to the people whether people would be able to participate whether it would be equally available to all or not and whether you would be having inclusiveness that is whether everybody would be included in that or not second is the quality what would be the quality the strategy that you have adopted in that strategy what would be the quality how to improve the quality how to utilize my internal efficiency what would be the relevance of that okay and what would be the external effectiveness okay and the third is a management that is you need to look into the governance part you need to look into the centralization or a decentralization and you have to look into from the perspective of the resource mobilization that is how would you able to mobilize the resources that you have so somewhere or the other way when we are saying strategy policy and a plan formulation we need to look into the three things say for example ugc hrdc when they have implemented this online orientation program the first and the foremost thing that they might have done is situation analysis and the secondly they have to look into the access whether people or whether the participant whether the stakeholders would they be able to access whether whatever lecture we are delivering whether it would give a quality aspect whether the management that is how it would be managed how the overall management of the plan would be done and so these are the three important dimensions that any organization any sector any businessman has to look into the third s that we were referring was strategic action planning and when we are saying strategic action planning here 
we are talking about an action plan that goes beyond the policy statement now when we are saying beyond the policy statement that means you are talking about listing of the activities to further define and prioritize the actions and the activities required resources so what you would do in the strategic action planning you would try to prepare a program that is you would try to see that the policies are translated into actions and those actions are translated into the efforts and the efforts are made to program the activities required okay and for each activity establishing the timing establishing the responsibility looking into the needed resources distribution of the responsibilities preparation of the budget every minute thing is very very important in addition task of planners is to identify and order the concepts to be used such as objectives results actions activities measurements resources and so on and so forth right so there are many times people are using the tools like simulation or they are going for you know modeling or they are going for probability sampling okay and uh, i mean looking into the different circumstances and situation the strategic action planning is done the next s comes here is a strategic execution now when we are saying strategy execution here it refers to the strategy implementation now when we are saying that you want to say for example hrdc has decided that to go for orientation program after doing all analysis the next important step is coming into implementation so how to do implementation what are the steps in the planning for implementation so the first is listing of the activities that make up the program you have to list out what are the things that would be needed to execute the program right would you need introduction would you need software would you need you know lights cameras i mean whatever the strategies say for example you may need to provide a link to the participant so how would you go for would you go on google meet would you go for you know zoom or which type of link would you like to provide if there is any problem or issues that would come up how would you handle that that means listing of the activities that would make up the program is important secondly thinking through each of the activity whatever activities that you have listed you have to think for each and every activity and then for each and every activity you need to establish the interrelationship that is you need to look into what is the relationship between these activities and thereby you can establish a network okay once you establish a network then you would set the activity duration say for example one session would be for an hour okay or it would be for 90 minutes whatever so you are establishing the duration for the activity you are trying to determine the material equipment human resource and the other needs right and then you are trying to decide about the time duration for the program implementation of each activity say for example on this day we would launch the program for this week we would have three session for the next week we would have four sessions so like that time duration of the implementation of each activity would be required to them now once you decide the time duration you need to identify the identical activities that is near by same type of activities that is needed to be identified and then you need to think about the organizational arrangement for the program and the activities and once you do that then you need to construct the implementation schedule by using different networking techniques so friends here what i was referring here was a strategy execution so strategy execution simply here means you are trying to execute the strategy in a way that you would try to see that 
whatever you are planning that is going on as per the plan and that is as per the implementation so now looking into this if we summarize this then we can say that the strategic planning and a process itself is divided into strategy management and a strategy formulation what you need to do is you need to do the analysis what type of analysis we need to do the strategy formulation and we need to do strategy implementation and once you do the strategy formulation you need to look into situation analysis you need to look into external factors you need to look into internal factors and you need to observe the type of activities that is happening during the course of action once you are preparing the strategy then on the other hand you need to look into the implementation and when you are looking into the implementation then the action plan needs to be work out well and once you work out the action plan you need to see and you need to observe that whatever you have planned is actually implemented in a better way and for that we have discussed all the s the five s model and the other aspect of the strategic management so with this we can say that by now we have understood different aspects like number 1 what is strategy number 2 what is strategic plan number 3 what is important and what are the important steps in the strategic plan thank you so much uh, professor neelam panchal uh, for your um, kind support to this hrdc uh, for your precious time and uh, this wonderful lecture uh, i would like to uh, thank you on behalf of hrdc gujarat university dr neelam panchal thank you so much and thank you so much uh, all the participants as we know that the situation of covid 19 uh, please friends uh, be careful stay at home stay safe have a wonderful time with your family thank you so much thanks a lot thank you one and all